to the bedroom. He thinks he's too loud. Defrost timer. On off switch. Nice. Condenser loader. Place compressor and evaporator. Oh Brand new coil, so what I'm trying to do right now with the nitrogen, I'm going to put it in through the high side. It's going to come through this capillary, through the low side, and then back out the low side, and then it's going to go up to my blue gauge, my blue gauge to rise. That's going to tell me that there's no restrictions from here. And over there on that dryer. So yeah, putting nitrogen right in here. And of course coming out the condenser, going through the condenser. And then going out the discharge line on the high side. So you'll see what I mean. I'm gonna put it in through here. It's gonna go through the condenser, but it's also gonna go through the capillary. Right there, through the capillary. Out. It's gonna come out the capillary, the inlet of the evaporator, all through the evaporator, and then the outlet of the evaporator, and then up to my low side. About 100 psi. 25. There it goes. There we go, and we're rising on the low. That's good.
airplane crash. I'm going to hold him on 15. I'm going to release the nitrogen and vacuum. Okay. They never did their house. They put plugs, electrical plugs, and in several areas they have one to plug the phone in the direct so you don't have to have them. Them and the thing I don't understand is, is why people like this guy that does his water board, does our, our uh -huh. water system, yeah. filtration, and he does all these people, chilies and all the different people, he does, he comes up here and does, he kind of, you know, kind of charges a bit to come up here, uh -huh. but he, anyway, he, uh, I, can, I can call him six months later or a year later and do something, and uh, I tell him, I, now be sure to, and bring what you need, because the last time you came, a year ago, you came and you said didn't have no, I've got everything. I know exactly what I'm doing. He came up here. Yeah. He goes, uh, man, I thought it was the other one. I said, you know, he has a girl at his office work. Why the hell don't they document these things? Have a file. Exactly. For every job. Yeah. Or every location, at least. Have Raymondville and have the addresses. Yeah. And he'll come up here and do this place, and he'll go north to here and do his, her mother, about her mother and her aunt. Right. Places. And he'll do them at different times. Watch your face. And, uh, I don't understand why he doesn't say, hey, call those people up and say, you know, I'm going to be in that area next week, next week, two weeks from now, I need to go if everything's going good or if you need any assistance. Right. But they don't do that, and the other thing they don't do, and this is an individual who owns this, and the other yeah. thing is, is that they don't have, and he can't, he brought, he, he took the, the uh, water softener canisters, uh -huh. and he was going to put uh, carbon in them. Oh. Okay, he's going to change it. So he left a loaner here two years ago. Yeah. And he was going to come back and like a month or two later change it, and he didn't. And, and then we we called him on something the other day, and he said, yeah, he would. I told the girl we need to bring that canister back, the iron and change it back, and he's supposed to refill it or, you know, where it cleaned the right. carpet and put it back in there, put the new in there. He gets up here, and he goes, you know, uh, Dang, he said, I, I didn't bring it because I'm not sure the guy that works for me works on Saturday that does this, and he didn't mark which one was yours, so I don't know if he did yours or not. Oh, man. It's been two years. God damn. So he goes up and does Fowler's mother's house. Yeah. About 10 miles from here on the ranch. He does that. And then he schedules another time to come here. And I guess it's, I, I, I hate to say it, but I think it's all, it, it's, it's not being well planned. One right. Thing. And not run properly. Plus, I think you know that way, or the other side of it, he could be getting a service call each time. Yeah, that's true. I mean, so well, two hundred fifty dollars for a service call and what he did here. Wow. I thought that was that was a lot. And we'll put the cover back on and. So some people, yeah, they don't have pride to work, and some are just scatterbrained. Yeah, scatterbrains. <laughs> well, that's what he is. Yeah. <laughs> He was changing out one of the filters out here. I said, you know, while you're here, I bet the filter should be going and change that, or I'll, I'll do it. He said, no, I can, I can do it. I'll change it. So he took the filter off, mm -hmm. and evidently he took the little tube off that goes to the filter, the water supply. Okay. And he told me, well, go in and go in and turn the water on. He said, uh, go ahead and turn the valve and turn the water on. So, right. Uh, I came in here and I went back outside and I said, Michael. And he goes, what? And I said, why is all this water running here? 
And the tube was just blowing water right in the closet out there in the garage. Oh man. Where that stuff is. And he goes, oh man, I guess I just forgot to hook up. Oh, that's, put the back. that's tough. And he said, but look, he said, uh, it's, it's everything's working good. I said, what do you mean it's working good? He said, the water's going out of the garage. You got the perfect slope. <laughs> I didn't yes. want to test the garage. <laughs> you don't want you to <laughs> fix it. Because all that closet was wet. All the oh my was wet, gosh. So I had to get through a towels. I'm not, not talking all, about no slope here. <laughs> yeah, scatterbrain. Yeah. Well, one day he got here and he, then she got here, I said, hey, Michael, and shook his hand. And he goes, I told him, I got to take this. So the phone goes, 45 minutes, he was standing over there on the side of Fort Fox. Oh, and man. he comes back over, and that's what, the day he didn't do anything. He yeah. said, oh, man, I got the, he said, uh, I got the, I didn't bring it, the water softener. Man. Said, because, uh, I don't know whether he didn't have your name. I didn't have your name on it, so I'm not sure what he did. Here. He comes on Saturday and, and yeah. Two years later. Wow. I was here two years and he said that. Yeah. yeah, she wasn't here. So. Yeah. I said, yeah, that's my buddy Michael. He's uh, they're funny. <laughs> he had a mission. He a lot of work. Good. Frost the inlet. Let's put the cover back on so it can have a good frost pattern. Are you going to the island?